Hello, hello, welcome back to another lesson. It's 25 years since uh, Yield was released. So I've hastily put together a lesson because I'd forgotten. Now I've got a cool little tone for this, check it out. <laughs> Super growly, it's this bad boy. It's the jam pedal Seagull, which basically does all manner of range of cocked wah, but obviously it's fixed in that position. So um, I really like it for this one. It has a little bit of grunt as well. You could get the same effect using a wah pedal just pulled right back. And the clean tone. <laughs> That's just uh, the amp back there, Morgan MVP66. And for Mike's parts, just add a bit of distortion for the... For those incidental little bits. And that's all we've got. So, um, tuning, you're in drop D, so the low E goes down two steps. So you have... Matches the fourth string, right? Now I'll give you a blast of the uh, first riff and then I'll clean it up to show you how to play it. So it goes like this. One, two, three. That is it. So with the effect off, and there's a little slide. And two. Uh, that's the open fifth and fourth string there. Um, and that comes in on the fourth beat, right? So you play one, two, three. A bit like a live, right? And then you go to the ninth fret, okay? And this has got a bit of a 12 bar feel to it. Okay. So you go down, down, up, and then you put your, your third finger on the 11th fret. and then off again, okay? So down, down, up, down. So that's the first part. But when you get to the fifth fret, you're gonna do this. You're gonna do a little slide, right? And you could actually stay on the fifth fret and just play Okay, so you're just going to play that until the end of the uh, end of the bar, which I've seen a lot of people tab, but you do hear Stone doing a slide. So you slide from the fifth roughly to the ninth, and then with an upstroke, you're going to catch the fifth and fourth open string again. So that um, note there is is kind of. You know, it's not really the fifth fret, you're actually sliding between that and the ninth. And then to speed. That goes round and round. Then um, Mike comes in with these parts really quietly, load of distortion basically and some reverb. And you've got... Super simple, right? So it's seven, ten, eight, seven. And you can leave that ringing out. And again. And then you stay on the seventh fret, right? I think he repeats that rhyme twice. Uh, then Stone's cracking on with this still. But. Going into the, I guess it's the chorus part of that. That's really cool because the phrase actually starts um, partway through the previous bar. So we have. Etc. right? So you're gonna basically play One, two, three, four. Then the last three notes are 
on the sixth fret, right? It's all one fingered chord stuff, right? So you're on the sixth fret, and you're gonna do up, down, up. First beat of the next bar is then the sixth fret again. And then you go to the open strings, right? So you rock around that um, eight times. So you're basically playing four on the sixth fret, another four, another four on the second fret, another four on the third fret, and then another well four on the sixth fret, right? But essentially, he's displaced the rhythm, right? So you've got um, you're not playing. You're not playing that, right? It's which is what makes it so cool. Then final riff before some mic noodliness, we have this. Something along those lines, right? So we have essentially. 033 three, to 0 right to a D5. So you're going to play down, up, whack, whack, change. I'm just using, using my palm on my right hand there. And then, so I've got my um, third finger there on the D, okay? That's the first time. Second time. That bit's the same, but the fill is. Again, that's the open um, G and the third fret on the B. But I would do. So you don't want, you don't want that hanging around, right? And also, it gets it in place to go back to uh, the third fret on the next string up. That's the third time round. But that, and that's, that's what I hear being played. And then the last time. <laughs> like that, okay. There, is, he's just playing. So you've got the open. It doesn't matter if you play zero, zero, 003 there. You've got three zero three zero. Pretty straightforward, right? Mic over the top, and this is um, you'll hear you'll hear like an octave because it sounds like he's playing with some sort of octave pedal. It goes and then a load of noises, right? You could play it here. That's just a half step bend, um, and those are. Grace note hammer ons, right? From the sixth fret to the eighth, if you're playing it here. Or tenth to the eleventh on the next string down. And that's it then. Back into that. Uh, right to the end then. And there's another little fill at about three and a half minutes. And that goes like this three, four, one. Little sort of almost Jimi Hendrix, -y, isn't it? Pretty straightforward stuff. Now, if you want to solo over this, you can just play B blues. So that's just a B blues, first and second position, or B minor pentatonic. And that is it, you're done. So, hope you enjoyed that one. See you soon.